Testing, can you hear me? I see people. No? Hello, Eskies, can you hear me? Yeah, I want to talk to people. You can hear me? Okay, hi guys, sorry about that. Um, I have a special guest with me today. My niece Zoe is here. She's gonna learn to diamond paint with us. And uh, let's see who we've got. Give me two ticks, please. Is Zoe with a Y on the end? <laughs> She's very particular about it. <laughs> okay, so um, I brought you Groot uh, because I did not do a um, review video on it, but I know a lot of you guys have already seen me. Yes, anxiety. Yes, we'll fact. Um, I know a lot of you have already seen me. Um, work on this one and all that kind of stuff. So this group is for Zoe. Uh, this was supposed to be a Christmas gift, which I finished in March. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't have any problem. This is from the as Neely store on, um, AliExpress, and I didn't have any problems doing it other than this section of green right here. Um, the squares got a little tight there, but that was the only place I had that problem. So, um, goodness me, hold on, two ticks, guys. I can't see your comments. 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 All right, so other than that, this is what it is. I'll kind of hold it up for you. It is square, 50 by 65, and this is going to go on Zoe's wall. So, yeah, she's got a late, a very, very late Christmas gift, but she got it, and it's finished. Thank goodness. I never thought I'd finish that one. So we're going to do that, and today I'm going to teach Zoe how to diamond paint, and we're just going to do this one. We're going to work on this little partial. I thought this was super cute. Hi, Corey. Hi, Shannon. Um, so this one is just a little partial that I got off of Amazon, and I do have a little game we're going to play later as well that does have prizes. So hopefully I'll have four winners on that. Um, all right, so grab your pen. So I'm using Orion Nebula, which is this one from Handmade Diamond Painting Pens on Facebook. And Zoe is going to use, hey, Rebecca. Zoe is going to use this one, which is Coral Sea from Handmade Diamond Painting Pens. Do you know which end to use? Nope. Stick them with the pointy end. Okay. <laughs> All right. So what you do is you take your tray and you take your color. So we're going to pull this back here. You don't stick your hand in the sticky. I mean, just saying. <laughs> so. so what you're going to do is you're going to pull one of these colors. So like I would start with two, the color that has the most. Uh-huh. Hey, Kelly Collins. Oh, yay, Jackie. Which one did you order? Hey, Peppers. Okay, yeah, so just, yeah, pour a few of them in there. Okay, and close your lid because we all knock them off. Okay, and so then what you do is I take it by the spout like this, give it a little shake until they all kind of line up in there. And I'm not good at this part. 
Okay? And then you're going to use that pointy end of your pin, and you're going to pick one up. And then you're going to stick it on a number two. Which one's called Arizona Sunset? Oh, uh, the one that you got. I don't know which one that is. What does it look like, Jackie? Hey, Ashley. Hey, Jennifer Jones. Good job earlier. Thank you for stepping in. I do appreciate it. So like Mindy, I am at my best friend's house <laughs> to use her uh, computer and her um, kiddo's webcam because, <laughs> you know, I couldn't figure out how to do this. So I had to find my local millennial <laughs> and uh, she got us all set up and ready to go. Make sure you're only putting it on the two. Okay, just checking. There's some ones over here. Okay. Um, hey, Sherry, how are you today? Anyway, so I came over here. She's got this fantastic craft room, this huge table. And I know you guys can't see all of it, but she's got a whole setup happening. Um, and so I figured this would be a good time to try to get the kid converted um, to our little addiction here. And the kid brought snacks because, you know, <laughs> it's a dark, dark red and silver. Ooh, Jackie, you'll have to um, put that in uh, one of the groups so that we can see pictures of it when you get it. Are you still on the wait list? Exactly, Jennifer Jones. You got to get them when they're young. I'm doing great, Sherry. I know you started your new class. How's your new classes going? I'm sure you'll tell us here in a little while when you go live. Anyway, so I was here earlier and I had to finish labeling my containers that I set up last night. I did go to Harbor Freight yesterday on my lunch break. Got the Harbor Freight containers and this actually made a really easy um, setup. I just put everything in the plastic um container that the Harbor Freight ones come in to bring everything up here. Oh, okay, Jackie. I think it took them about two weeks to, um, for me to get mine in. And the only reason I actually have two is because, um, I had ordered Coral C the, uh, in my original order and they sent me, um, this was the shape that it was supposed to be. And they sent me in uh, someone else's pen. They got ours confused. They were the same blanks, but they were different shapes. And so uh, Carol and Sean were awesome. They let us uh, pick another one. And they sent it to us um, since they got our orders confused. And so I got Orion Nebula, which was number two on my list. Oh, no problem, Orchid. I know you're like really late over there. So we'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Sleep good. Anyway, so I was here and I was setting, trying to set up the, uh, finish setting up the thing. And I asked the kid for a Sharpie. Y'all, this kid, I love her to death, but she's extra. Okay. I asked her for a Sharpie. This is what she brings me. Can you see this? Are you ready for this? I was not prepared. Okay. You have your color selection of your fine choice or your fine tip Sharpies on this side. And you have the color selection of your regular Sharpies on this side. And of course, black is missing because nobody ever knows what happens to it. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. The pink is really pretty. They've got two, two shades of pink. We'll pack. So you've got a, like a hot pink and a baby pink, two shades of purple. So like there's like a lavender and then the darker purple. Yeah. Yeah, guys. <laughs> I knew that you guys would love that. Hey, Patty. Where'd you get this? Do you know? Uh, mom got it at Walmart. Mom got it at Walmart. So the Sharpie coloring kit at Walmart. Go get you one. Just saying. And of course, we can't ever find a Sharpie in this house, but there's the Sharpie. <laughs> of course, it was Walmart. <laughs> Right? Where's Cindy and Ginger? Are they still sleeping? I like the case too, Jennifer Jones, but 
I guess it would only work if you put the stuff back in it. And we're drinking out of my Christmas mug. Drinking coffee. Oh, thank you, Rachel. If you can't get it at Walmart, try Amazon, right? And if you can't find it on Amazon, call JJ. Jennifer Jones. Jennifer Jones will find it for you. Hey, Kaya Rose. Hey, Tracy's DP and Crafts. There's Ginger. She was lurking. Hey, Cindy B. Hey, Shanda. All right. So the little game that we're going to play, and I'm going to do this um, probably about every 15 minutes. Hey, Mrs. Coffee, how are you doing? Thank you for coming. Um, we all know that our diamonds have DMC codes. So I thought a fun game would be to take our um, to take my embroidery floss and see if you guys can guess what the DMC color is. And we're going to have four winners. So we're going to play this game four times during the stream. And for the person that you have to guess the actual color, um, I'm going to purchase you a cover minder. Hey, Martine, how are you? Hey, Cheryl. So uh, the, a cover minder is kind of like a needle minder. I saw this on Donnie's page, um, and I'm going to probably buy them from Donnie. Um, mine is for an, um, uh, one that I had made for my cross stitch. Um, that I'm using, but it just holds your cover up kind of like this, what this is doing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, um, but I'll have four people and I will buy it and ship it to you. Uh, so what you'll have to do is if you guess the color, I'll let you know. And then you have to add me as a friend on YouTube and send me your address that way. That way I know that it's actually you because it'll be under your name. Hey, Annie, how are you today? So the first color that we're going to do is this color right here. It is a baby puke green. This is kind of hard because of the webcam. But it is a green color in the olive shade, olive shades. So I will give you guys a couple of minutes and see if you can figure out which one that is. I'll even give you a hint. It only has three digits. Nice. She's lining this up. She ain't even got a straightener over here. Stop, kiddo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there's one person that's gotten pretty close. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Coffee. I, I tried to, it's olive green. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mrs. Coffee. <laughs> nope, nobody's got it yet. Cindy B has gotten the closest. <laughs> All right, I'll give it 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. Shar Shar was the last one. This is 580. Hey, Shawana. 580. So both Rosie Posey and Cindy B said 581. And it's 580. So very, very close, but no dice. Maybe I'll figure out who to how to do that at the end so that somebody does get that prize. So we'll do that again later. 
<laughs> Kiddos, look at her. She's got the whole like bottom section done already. Yeah, Cindy B did say that. Hey, Sarah. No, it's 581. So, oh, it is 580. I'm sorry, Cindy B. I was thinking it was 581. You're right. Okay, so Cindy B. <laughs> no, that is called Marissa Needs More Sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. So Cindy B, uh, message me on YouTube. And I will get that sent out to you. Um, that uh, needle minder, I'll let you pick which one you want. We're going to have a three legged race with no legs next. <laughs> Sorry, guys, that was my bad. My bad. Hey, Monique. <laughs> On YouTube. Did I say Facebook? Y'all, I got to get it together over here. I can't. I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Gonna have to get out my DP, calm down a little bit. I'm all sweaty. It's hot in here. Uh, purple. Nobody said nothing about purple. Your favorite color is 666. It is bright red. I think I've got that in here. Really? I did. Where did it go? Here it is. Here you go, Mrs. Coffee, just for you. Six, six, six. But you don't want a prize for that. See, I got you just that your, your, your red color, your favorite red color. I know. I even said it in my last video. I did six, six, six. And I was like, oh, look, this is Mr. Coffee's favorite color. It wouldn't be fair to pull that out because you'll know it. <laughs> You might get a prize anyway. Don't give up hope, Mrs. Coffee. Uh, can I have the cheese, babe? I just take all the cheese. The cheese, no, but you can snack me. She brought snacks. Check me. Oh. Sorry, but don't get the snacks on sticky. I didn't get the snacks on sticky. You know, we got this kid trained right. Um, my shirt is Texas and it says home because I do have Irish ancestry. So we've got a little shamrock here and some Celtic type font. So I've got this one and then I've also got one that's got the, um, Scottish flag crossed. Your margarita, you were supposed to get your own margaritas. Uh, not always, Jill. We do get kind of cold down here. Uh, this room, the front room, it gets all day sun. And we're right by the window. I've got the window at my back. And um, I think it's furthest from the air conditioner, too. Yes. So this one doesn't get real good airflow. No, we do not get as cold as Minnesota. What's messed up, Mrs. Coffee? <laughs> Sorry, Rachel Ray. Don't this isn't that like Googling it? Can you go get your flat? <laughs> is that is Rachel Ray allowed to go get her floss book? You know what? I bet Mrs. Coffee done went and got her um, a diamond painting book thing that she got. I'm willing to bet. She's sitting over there and she's like, mm, if I wasn't colorblind, I could see this. No offense, Mrs. Coffee. Oh, I do love the flamingos, Karen. 
I didn't think about it. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Coffee. I am so sorry. I'm gonna send you a, a prize anyway. Cause that was my bad. That was mean. I didn't mean to be mean, but I was mean. <laughs> See, Mrs. Coffee's over here. She's phoning a friend using the Google. Mm hmm. That's okay. Oh, I didn't know that, Cindy B. Oh, well, you know, um, I do the flamingos in my kitchen, Karen. So my kitchen has pretty much been taken over by flamingos. I found these bowls at the Burlington Coat Factory and they were on sale and they have black and white stripes on them. Hey, Crafting with Christy. Um, they have black and white stripes on them. And then they, I, I'm going to throw you a bone, Mrs. Coffee. I got you. I got you. Don't worry about it. I promise. Um, they've got flamingos on them. And I thought, oh, those are super cute. And they were like $1.80, y'all. You know me, I like a bargain. And so I bought them because I didn't have any bowls. And um, I took them back and then slowly, like my mom saw them and all of a sudden all this flamingo stuff starts showing up at my house. And so now there's something on the wall and there's cups with flamingos and there's tea towels with flamingos and all of this kind of stuff. And it is just pretty much taken over. I don't know what is happening. There's flamingos everywhere and I'm trying to keep it contained to the one room. And so uh, for Christmas, they came down and I come home from work. And they some new flamingo tea towels and there's a new flamingo coffee mug. Now, I love coffee mugs and I collect coffee mugs. But in this flamingo coffee mug, it's pretty epic. I'm not going to lie. But I'm just kind of like, OK, we're going to calm down. So I got pineapples in the bathroom. I don't know why there's pineapples in the bathroom, but there's pineapples in the bathroom. And then there's flamingos in the kitchen. And then my... <laughs> There's no flamingo emoji. Yeah, I knew that. I think I knew that. I think I looked for it when we were trying to decide. Um... <laughs> Bye, Kaya. Get it, Karen. Go get it, girl. Because, and you know, Dollar Tree, they have those little solar lights and they're supposed to have flamingos. All of my local Dollar Trees only have pineapples. It's offensive. I'm just saying. I'm a little, a little offended by that. What? Zoe says there's a flamingo emoji, Rachel. There isn't. Oh, she says no, there isn't a flamingo emoji. That is sad. Somebody call somebody call Apple or whoever does the emojis. I don't know. We got both got Apple devices over here. Nice, Karen. Use a coupon if you can. Thank you for trolling me. Have a good day. Oh, that was so fast. I didn't even see it. Good job. Yeah, get them, Karen. <laughs> oh, Lord, Christy, keep it to the kitchen. I can handle the kitchen. Like I got a little, um, oh, what are those things you put them in the sto on the stove or I put mine on the stove and then you put your the spoon rest? Is that what they're called? Like you put your cooking utensil on it so it doesn't get your... Uh, stove top dirty. Fleming, uh, right? Right, Shanda? Oh, okay, Rachel. Mindy, you did such a great job. I loved your stories. I'm going to need you to go live a little more often. Uh, not quite a trivet. It's I think it's called, we call it a spoon rest, Sherry. I don't know if that's its official name or not, but that's what we call it. Uh, you know, I haven't done one yet either, Karen. I haven't found one that I'm just in love with. I think it's because I'm not a big fan of pink. I know Stephanie. Somebody check on Stephanie. Check on Wolfpack. She may not be okay when she heard that come out of my mouth. You all right, Stephanie? You breathing? I'm not a fan of pink. I'm sorry. I know, but my grandmother's favorite color is pink. 
And when I was little, I had to live in a room and it was like being inside a Pepto-Bismol bottle all the time. Like y'all, I'm not lying. It was Pepto-Bismol pink. It was ridiculous. And so I have this just deep-seated hatred of pink. I apologize, but it is what it is. I'm so sorry. Well, fact, so sorry. Let go of your pearls. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I know. I, I knew as soon as I said it, I was going to have to check on you to make sure that we did not have an incident of you just like passing out and hitting your head on the way down. So my favorite color is purple, uh, followed very closely by red. Uh, red's my power color. <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> I prefer uh, to a leave and a bottle of water for a hangover personally. See, I knew, I knew I had a lot of purple peeps in here. I think the Cindy or Ginger's favorite color. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't remember which one. Rachel, I think, is a purple girl. Pepper, you too? Ginger is purple. Exactly. Like, and y'all, okay, so I'm in my 30s, right? In my mid-30s. And you have to like, a lot of y'all know this, you have to like prepare for a week before you go out and drink. Like you got to hydrate. It's like training for a marathon. If I know I'm going out and we're going to like the river, we're going to float the river, we're going to drink and all that kind of stuff. Like I start hydrating on Monday. If I could get an IV going, I would have an IV going, but y'all, it, it like takes some time. And then the lag, the hangover lasts a lot longer than it did in my 20s. A lot longer. Yes, baby. This one is broken. That one is broken. Okay, so you're going to grab the tweezers. Pull it off. If you need to train all under it, that works too. Yeah, and then just kind of stick it down in there. It'll be trash. We'll just put the trash in there. It's stuck. Did you get it? Okay. Yep. That's all you do is you just pull it off. So if you see any of those, and like we'll probably go back and pull this one. See how that's got that bubble in it? Mm -hmm. That cavity? We'll probably pull that one off. But for right now, just go ahead and put them down and we can pull them off later if we need to. Sorry, guys. <laughs> every now and then, Mindy, every now and then. How much do I drink? It just depends on who I'm with and what I'm doing. So, like we, my family, we usually take a uh, river trip every year. So one of the big things I know in the South, I don't know if you guys do this up North or other places, but down here in Texas, um, there's a town called New Braunfels. And we, um, it's a clear river and it's spring fed. So it stays about 65 degrees all year round. And when it's 100 degrees outside, that 65 degrees feels like heaven. And so what most people do is you go down to the river and we'll camp out or get a cabin or whatever. And then you uh, get these tubes, like inner tubes, like tire sized inner tubes. And they uh, will take you up river and you get out and you get in the water and you float down river back to either a pickup or your campsite. So usually what we do is we'll go, we'll go up river and then you float back down to your campsite and you can choose like a two hour trip or a four hour float or a six hour float or whatever. So we usually, <laughs> right? Hi, Heike. Um, so usually you float back down. So what we do is we go up in the morning about 10 a.m. and get in. And then we float back down to the campsite, get out, have lunch, 
and then get in and float below our camp down to a pickup spot and get out there. And then they bring us back up to our campsite. So that's what we do. And usually what you do when you do that is you have a tube just for the cooler. And it has pretty much all alcohol in it. We do put water in ours as well. But most of the time it's just alcohol. So you have to kind of pace yourself. No problem, Elizabeth. We're all here. Um, Karen, I think it's a couple of different things. A lot of it just depends. Um, some of the drills, if it's just one drill, bless you, Terry. Uh, some drills, if you look at the bottom of them, they'll be kind of concave. Oh, it's a load of fun, Shawana. If you've never done it, you got to find a place to do it. It's so much fun. Hey, my clothes smell like candles. Um, so sometimes they're concave on the bottom and they're just not getting good contact with the, the canvas. So that's just when it's just one drill popping. That's what usually that is. Um, sometimes, and I think probably most times, somebody correct me you think I'm wrong um it's an overcrowding issue so uh for instance on Grooch did you hold that uh, move that one over there so it doesn't get stuck just a second please um so on Grooch the only place I had a problem was here in this green and it was uh this green color here is the squares were all different sizes so the the diamonds were all different sizes and so it created an overcrowding issue because the the gems there were bigger than the ones in the other spaces and they were larger than the actual uh graph and so that created that problem and that's why i only had a problem there is because that's really the only place that color was laid down and that's of course where i had that problem Does everybody agree with that? I'm sure there's, yeah, yeah, Karen. So what I did um, on here is I had one or two rows that it just, it would, it just, you couldn't put a whole drill down. So what I did is I actually, oh, no problem, Mrs. Coffee. Uh, what I did is I actually took one out and spaced them out a little bit. And because they were so much larger, it, um, didn't look like there's one missing and that actually helped the overcrowding issue. Yeah. The knobbly bits. Yeah, exactly. Heike. Um, so the other thing is if you get little bits, you, you know what knobbly bits are, Karen. Hi Barbie. How are you? Long time. No see. Uh, if you get little pieces jetting out from the sides of your, uh, gym, I don't think any of these have knobbly bits. These are rounds, so they're not likely to have knobbly bits. But basically, when you have a square and you'll have like a little piece where it just didn't get cut quite right, um, sticking out off one of the sides, that will push the drill next to it over because that still has to have room. Yeah, Karen. So if you can, you don't want to use those because then your drills won't lay next to each other and play nicely. Hey, Rose, welcome. I've only got a few. I've only been doing this about a month or so, but you are more than welcome to watch. And in fact, this is a good time. Uh, if we could uh, silence chat for just a second. Hey, Donnie, how are you? Um, all of my creators, if you will put your emojis in. Hey, Beppy. If everybody will put their emojis in, if you have a channel that you upload content on regularly, go ahead and... Uh, Pop your emojis in so that everybody can see and can find you. All right, so let's see, who do we have? Um. We've got Shanda Panda with her panda bears. We've got Crafting with Christy. We got Rachel Rain, her unicorn farts. 
Uh, we got Ashley's DP and unboxings. We've got Diamond Painting with Anxiety, Sherry's Creative Niche, Karina Cool Creations, Becky's Madness for Diamond Painting. Becky, I watched one of your videos the other day and I had to stop because I was at work and I was in there laughing like a fool. So I've got to catch up with you, but girl, girl. Uh, we got the Frozen Crafter. Megan went on. She did a great job today as well. So you guys go back and watch that replay if you missed it. Uh, we got Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Uh, we got Rebecca McClellan, y'all. Rebecca, I want to say this. I'm going to take time. For those of us that know, Rebecca McClellan has been in our chats for a long time, and I was so proud of her last night. She uploaded her first video, and she did an unboxing, and she did a great job, and she's got that real thick southern accent. So you guys go check out Rebecca. She did such a good job. I'm so proud of her. It's For some people I know doing this, uploading videos, and, um, you know, putting themselves out there is terrifying. And so I'm super happy that she did that. And uh, so, guys, please go check her out. We got Diamond Painting by Donnie. Uh, Donnie, I don't think you were in here earlier. Uh, they're playing for some uh, cover minders that we're going to be buying from your shop. So prepare yourself. <laughs> uh, there's only going to be four. But we got Wolfpack. Oh! And we got Diamond Painting with Eskies, my girl Amber who is uh, both Rebecca and Amber had agreed to be mods for me. And I do appreciate it, ladies. Uh, we got Shawana's Creative Circle and we've got Peppers. Oh, Mr. Coffee's back. OK, we'll play again in just a second. We got um, DP and NC Elizabeth Inslee. We got Crafting with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, of course. She was one of my first. Um, one of the first lives that I would watch, and then I started watching all her chant, all of her videos, y'all. Girl's got some videos. She's got it. Um, we got Ginger Ginger Diamond Painter, and we got Rosie Posy Crafts. Rosie Posy. Um, <laughs> Rachel, it's so dark. <laughs> y'all, she did. She, Rebecca did so good. And as Southerners, you know, we have our own, our own special thing. Ashley was all up in here yesterday. She didn't feel good. She still went live. She unboxed, like, I don't even know how many because I missed half of them because people kept interrupting me while I was at work trying to watch YouTube. I'm like, y'all got to stop talking to me. But so I'm going to have to go back and watch that video again. And then last night she was in chat and she's like, I got to go. There's tornadoes. And I'm like, girl. You need to check in later. She didn't check in, y'all. I was a little worried this morning, but she's back. She's all right. There's no damage at her house. Oh, she ordered seven DAC. She was on the. She left. She there was no tornado. She had to go to the DAC website and order some. I saw. Mm hmm. I know what happened. You don't understand, honey. What had happened was there was a tornado <laughs> called DAC on my computer. That's what happened. DAC launched. Mm-hmm. Hey, Colette. <laughs> I saw you, Ashley. I know a lot of y'all got paintings. I am waiting on, um, what are they, I think they're calling it. Uh-huh. Honey, my finger slipped. There was a tornado. That's what happened. The DAC, exactly, Sherry, a DAC tornado. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> hey, Donnie, no problem. No worries. We're all here. We're going to have fun. No big deal. I have to go back and watch it. She deserves them. That tornado wasn't even close. She only lost one tree branch. <laughs> But Ashley, are you feeling any better today? I'm going to go ahead and ask you. I don't know if you answered that earlier. Well, thank you, Donnie. I do appreciate it. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. It's all for fun. All right, Peppers. A custom, what's it, a custom of Peppers? <laughs> wow, Rose. That's awesome. I don't, how many have I done? Um, I've been DPing since October, 
See, I finished two snowmen. I finished a Little Mermaid, not the one I opened the other day, but a different one. I finished a Hogwarts crest. I finished Groot. And I'm almost finished with Firstborn. I should finish Firstborn later this week. Okay, Ashley, did you try any of the, the suggestions that my sister sent you? I am proud of your restraint, Ginger. Uh oh, Jackie, I know you hate those storms, so be careful. Get your fur babies and, and take cover. I know you do. I think I'm trying here. I'm trying to decide whether my next one needs to be an ever moment or if I need to go DAC because I'm waiting on, um, I think it's called Wee Beastie. Is that right, Miss? The Maleficent one? I think that's the right name for it. Oh, cool peppers. Um, that's the one that I really, really want. I like all dogs go to heaven, but I don't know. I don't know if emotionally I'm ready for that. So that may have to wait just a little bit. Very nice, Rose. Welcome, Angie. I think I've talked to you in some chats before. Abra, my darling, dearest Rummy, how are you? Hello, Beastie. Thank you, Mrs. Coffee. Yeah, I got you, Ginger. I got you. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, like, do I want to get Beastie or do I want to get an Ever Moment? You dropped your chorizo. What are you doing with your life, Elizabeth Inslee? That is unnecessary. Girl. Yay, Abra. <laughs> April. <laughs> what are you what are you going to um persuade your children to buy you? Okay, Peppers, we'll see you in a bit. Be careful. You said that. You also said it was hot, Mrs. Coffee. I mean, I know it's probably like 12 degrees up there or something. Was it in the 50s? The, the mermaid. All right. Well, you know, and Heike, I looked because um, I know you were saying about the little divots in the back. Um, my. Um, oh, bloody. What's it called? Uh, firstborn. Not every color has them, but the ones that do, I honestly haven't had any problems. No problem, Ashley. I'll say, I'll catch you later. Do you think everybody's got a life? I had to, I had to drive up here earlier, so it's snowing. Oh, I cussed. I'm sorry. <laughs> you need this blanket to survive. Tell Mr. Coffee to give you cuddles. Jeez, um, he made you move over there. To the hellscape that is always winter. Well, Jackie, I know that you would rather have him home. So I get it. I know you don't like him out. Yeah, Firstborn is a square, Pika. And I'm almost done with it. I put it, I think I posted it on my Instagram earlier. Um, oh, really, Mrs. Coffee? Okay, I'll wait till after the stream. I'm gonna be good. I'll wait till after the stream, and then I might go get it. Um, Miss Coffee over here being the best enabler she can be, dealing that DAC crack. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, firstborns a square. I've not had a single problem with any of the drills. There are some gaps, but I I feel like because it's the entire painting and it's every color that it's not necessarily um the fact that there's divots in the back. So hopefully, fingers crossed for you, that they will lay down the way that you like them to lay down. There you go, Rachel. It's the best part of the day was when that bra comes off. 
Like, get home, shoes first, bra second, and then it is a good time. That is a heat wave for you, Cindy. I think it was 70 down here today. Laura, darling, how you doing? <laughs> That's great. I'm so glad, Heike. Um, Jackie, I think they were going to, they decided that Hello Beastie was too small after they had already gotten it printed up. And so they're actually going to redo it. Um, so I don't know when that's going to happen, but I think that's what I saw. Aw, thank you, Laura. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun, y'all. I really am. Yeah. What is it that you say, Mrs. Coffee? It's nightmare fuel. <laughs> yeah, so I would like to, I think I want to do possibly what what you did mrs coffee with um lips like morphine and go ahead and get the original and then possibly get the uh recharted and see how they compare with each other uh and see how i like those yeah i didn't i didn't think the face was that bad uh hike up but i do understand where they're coming from uh the kiddo is working on my diamond painting over here this is my niece zoe um, and so she is working on our Amazon special here that I just thought, I thought this was a really cute picture. That is my needle minder in the middle of her forehead. It's not part of the picture. So Zoe decided that she wanted to try it. So she's got all of this laid down over here. So she's working on it. Hey, going on grumpy. How are you doing? No problem. Oh, you need it. I see. Um, mm -hmm. Where's the, oh, here they are. Um, okay, so I think it's probably time. Oh, uh, thank you, Amber. Let's see what color. Somebody give me a shade, color shade. Is Zoe with the Y, guys? Zoe with the Y. <laughs> Some corn chowder or some corn chowder? Orange and orange. Okay. We're going to go with this color orange. So to help out some of you, I know the color, the picture is not great. This is a burnt orange color. It is on the darker side. Got a lot of red tint to it. So if you can tell me, <clears throat> excuse me, the DMC code. Y'all are close. What? Laura, are you really going to come up in here and try to tell me how to say things? Yonkas. Come on, <laughs> it's orange, <laughs> orange. Um, very close. I haven't seen it yet. Let me double check. Jill, Jill Graf, this is 918, and she got it first. So, Jill, what I need you to do is I need you to um, send me a message on YouTube. 
so that I can see that you've got your username there and send me your address. <laughs> Mrs. Coffee, I'm sorry. <laughs> I gave you, I gave you the color family. I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do something special for you. You want some stickers? I got some stickers I can get you. Um, but yeah, Jill, so uh, send me a message on YouTube uh, up at the top in your notifications. We'll, um, um, let's see, let me get to it. When you go into your notifications, into your inbox, you'll be able to add people there and you can search for me and add me on there. And if I don't hear from you uh, by tomorrow, I will uh, contact you. <laughs> well, you know what, Mrs. Coffee, don't feel bad because there were uh, some people that participated in the last dp -athon. Uh, Y'all, I made those cards, right? And I thought this is going to be great. People will actually appreciate cards that I make because I used to make cards all the time and people just didn't appreciate them. And so I stopped making them because, you know, that's what I get out of it is people just being like excited to get it. And so um, I stopped making them and I thought, you know what, this will be great. Uh, you know, I'm Southern and in the South, we do thank you cards. So I <laughs> uh, was like, I'm going to make these cards and they'll love it because they're crafty people. And you guys did love it. And I loved it, except I um, might have run out of double sided adhesive to put the stuff together and I had to go to the store <laughs> and it was a whole thing. So those cards, uh, there were, I think, about five of them. I sent one to DAC. Um, I think Megan. Uh, Frozen Crafter, I think I sent yours this week, um, Annie, and then, um, oh, there were two other people, because I sent out five of them, uh, those went out Monday, I apologize, y'all are going to get y'alls, and then next week you'll get them for this, <laughs> but I did finally get them all made, and I got them sent out, so you will get them, um, I'm trying to decide where and how if I want to do the uh, stickers as like a sell thing I don't think I want to uh, this time I found some really cute cards but they are pre-made but I am going to fill those out and send those this week you uh, Laura Laura I, I made that pickle sticker just for you Laura you got it you were so excited so, yeah, you guys, I will be sending those out. Y'all should get some stickers and things like that. Okay, Tracy, good night. I'll catch you tomorrow. You want colorful rainbow stickers. What kind of rainbow stickers you want? I know. I know you would love that pickle. I made it just for you. Uh, Jennifer Roberts got the diabetic turtle sticker. That one was just for her. And I actually made her another one that has a potato on it. And it says just potatoes and cheese, please. Um, unfortunately, they were too big for my sticker maker. So I had to cut those down a little bit. Um, <laughs> Mrs. Coffee, I promise you I will take care of you, okay? Send me your email or send me your home address and I will take care of you. I will get you something. Uh, Cindy, I haven't made one for you yet because everything was a little too, um, not PG. So, <laughs> right, Heike? I was rolling. Oh my gosh, I laughed so hard. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Coffee. I, I must be a severe disappointment. I know. Um, let's see. What other stickers did I make? I got Mrs. Coffee's. Uh, you do you, boo boo. Um, bring your own depends, B Y O D. Bring your own depends. I've got, um, sorry, honey, my finger slipped. I might have to send that over to Ashley. I might have to make a DAC tornado one. 
Hey, Your thumb hurts. Oh. Um. Trying to think, what else did I send? Who else got them? What did What did you guys get? Oh, I got work and lurk, and j drill and chill. I know, right? <laughs> Look at her. How much have you gotten done? It's okay. It'll stick back on. There you go, guys. That's how much she's gotten done in like, what, an hour? And see, I saw this Minion one the other day. She does love the Minions. What's his name? Bob, Fred, George, Bob, Steve, Fred. You don't know what the other one's names are? No. I saw one that had like four or five Minions on it. I'll order you that one. <laughs> you got one. Which one did you get, Wolfpack? Um, and Barbie, you asked me where I'm from. I am from Texas. Born and raised and very proud. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did not get y'all sent. I don't know what happened. I'm going to be real honest. I could swear that I sent those. So maybe you need to contact your local postman. Oh, yeah, I got G's them, too. So, Mrs. Coffee, most of those are your sayings. And saying orange. I can say it properly, Laura. I can say orange. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> oh, yeah, Blonde Noir. You stick around and chat long enough and you'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. Hey, no worries. Is Eli giving you cuddles? <laughs> yeah, you, you know your aunt misses a big old dork. It's okay. I'm fine with dork too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got don't judge me. I think I want to judge that one up a little bit, though. That one was kind of plain, so I think I'm going to put something behind it or put a picture with it or something like that. Right, Blonde Noir? Yeah. Yeah, so you guys, I'll, I'll kind of play around with them and I'll see if I can't, maybe not all the time, but every once in a while, if somebody wants a certain one. Maybe I can get some made up. I'm going to make you pee. I'm not funny, guys. Like, I'm over here just talking. Probably making an ass out of myself, to be honest. You okay? Is it hurting? You going to try a different pen? She cut herself on the plastic around a bath bomb. <laughs> so, you know... <laughs> So she got a cut on her thumb right here, and I guess the pin's rubbing. Do you want to try the bigger one? You're not even ready for that three place you're getting, darling. No, I wasn't trying okay. to. Do <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Um, well, thank you, Becky. Wine, although, no, Elizabeth, uh, maybe try some milk. Um, so I'm pretty close. I'm getting, I'm closing in on 200. So I'm going to start working on a 200 subscriber giveaway. And you guys, I just have to say a special, special thank you to everybody that has subscribed, everybody that's here today, hanging out, um, to those of you whose chats that I've been in and whose channels that I've watched that have been kind and that have been encouraging um, that's one of the things I absolutely love about this craft and the people that I found that do it is just how kind and and, and encouraging that you guys have been. Uh, you make me laugh when I need a laugh. You know, you let me bitch when I need to bitch. And um, I cannot express how much I appreciate that. Um, if you've mentioned me on your channel, um, 
thank you so much for, you know, recognizing that, you know, I want to work and I want to gain the subscribers. I want to do it the right way. Um, and for those of you that just, you know, if I say, Hey, I'm thinking about this, what do you think that are just so encouraging and things like that? So I want to just say a special, special thank you. I'm sending you so many hugs, so much love. Um, and I know I talked about Rebecca's channel earlier. Uh, there's another channel, another couple of channels that I've been watching and these guys are under a hundred subscribers. So these are channels that I would love to get to a hundred and go higher. And so, um, this week, Lizzie vapes, she's another one that's a regular in our chats. Uh, she's in Canada and she started a channel. I think she's got three or four videos up. Hey Lynn, how are you doing? Um, so anyway, so Lizzie vapes, I was super excited to see her go. Um, to start posting videos. So you guys check her out this week. Um, she's one of our longtime uh, subbies that have been around. And like I said, she's been in the chats and different things like that. Um, and then our own, our very own Peppers. I know that you, some of you guys have already subscribed to him, but make sure he's still just under 100. So let's get him up to 100 this week. Um, and then as well, um, Corey of the Coriolis Diamond Painting Effect. Uh, she's been hanging around. She's given me lots of laughs and things like that. You guys go check her out. And I've got one more for you, which is Diamond Painting with Anxiety. Um, she's got some really good content on her channel. She's working on, she's the, one, she's the one that's doing the big path, right? I'm not getting her confused. I don't think I am. I think she's the one that's doing that like, 10 person table long diamond painting that I would not have even looked at and ordered, but get you some girl. Um, so you guys, she's been doing a lot of things. Those are the channels, the new channels that I've been watching as well as Rebecca McClellan, who started last night. Um, check them out, give them the same encouragement that you gave me. I do appreciate it. Um, you know, and I want to pass that on as well, just as much as, as everybody else. Um, so we've got a 200 subscriber giveaway coming up and, um, and yes, I did. I know Mrs. Coffee, one of the best things you told me was not to look at my numbers. <laughs> it's hard because I'm like super excited and still like super pumped, um, that like people watch me and don't think I'm a, well, you might think I'm a dork. That's okay too. I am a dork. Um, <laughs> I will fully own that. But uh, I know that was one of the, the best pieces of advice I think that I've heard. Um, but I did screenshot it when I hit 100 because I could not believe it. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mrs. Coffee. <laughs> um, when I do say I'm um a lot, I realize that I'm working on it, guys. So... We've got the giveaway coming up. I have no idea what I'm giving you yet. So I'm going to work on that. And then next weekend, I know I've talked to some of you have uh, heard that I'm Scottish and I belong to the Scottish Society here in Dallas. And I do the Highland Games. And so there's one coming up next weekend. I think me and Zobug over here are going to go. She's going to take pictures because your girl over here just got published for one of her pictures that she took. And I'm so proud of her and she's so proud. Do you want to go get your thing and show everybody? Yeah. Get your picture? The get the big one. It'll be easier to see. So she's got um, her own production company. She helped me learn to do the videos. She's teaching me things as we go and all of that kind of stuff. And so she just got, um, Uh, she just got published for taking this picture. Y'all, how cool is that? I know you can't really see it on here, but the background is all black and white. Is that not a really cool picture? And the, the uh, what is that thing called? Nutcracker. Yes, thank you. The Nutcracker is a special thing for our family. Oh, Slancha, Elizabeth. Um... So that is the picture she took. She got published in a magazine for it. I was super proud of her. She's following her Aunt Missus footsteps. She's going into the color guard. So she's going to be a flag girl. 
along with her Aunt Missa. And um, she starts high school next year, guys. I know I've talked about that before. Mrs. Coffee says, as a photographer, a photographer who has been published, that looks amazing. Great shots. Say it louder. They can't hear you. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> so she's going to go with me and she's going to, we're going to see if we can't get some action shots and I'm going to film some videos so you guys can see because the really cool thing um, about this games is it's the Texas Scottish festival. Uh, Christy, it's in Decatur. If you wanted to come up, I'm just saying uh, it is a kid friendly, a family friendly event, but they actually do the games. So they do the caber toss and the stone throw and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to try to get you guys, some video of that if you're interested and I will be in my kilt or my kilt skirt whichever way you prefer to say it I don't really care um Clan Buchanan somebody asked me earlier I saw it um I'm part of Clan Buchanan that's the one there are men in kilts everywhere you look Elizabeth everywhere and I'm gonna say this every man looks good in a kilt if they're wearing it right I'm just going to say it. I've never seen one that looked bad in a kilt. So it's pretty awesome that they've got music. The pipe bands will be playing. The Highland dancers will be dancing. Oh, Clan Donald. Yes. So we are going to uh, be doing that next weekend. And um, I'm going to get you some film and some footage and some pics and stuff. So you guys will see. And this is guys like there's, there's groups on Facebook that I'm a part of. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that a lot of the guys are because it's like a new movement to kind of like wear kilts every day and so a lot of guys like have a I guess a confidence issue going out in public in a kilt and different things like that the women love it so oh clan Campbell I don't know if we can talk to you anymore Ginger you know you Campbells and Donald's too y'all cause a lot of problems <laughs> so elizabeth the best thing to do is um to start doing your genealogy and because you're in north carolina so i'm gonna kind of go off on a tangent here i started doing my genealogy and surprisingly most of my lines actually immigrated through the north carolina and they settled there so in the center of the carolinas in the very center is where the highlands got settled so the Highlanders and then around them settled the Scotch Irish and uh, the Scots, excuse me, Irish, um, because they were basically the only people that could understand what they were saying. And then the English and the Germans and everybody else settled out around them further out towards the coast in the far interior. So a lot of people that have um, Scottish and Irish roots actually came through there rather than coming through Ellis Island. Uh, so you might find since you're already in North Carolina, chances are, you know, that you guys probably have some history there. So start doing your genealogy. And then um, I would also suggest doing a DNA test. I just got mine back and I was, um, oh, what was I? I think I was 58. Yeah, that's, does that sound right? Yeah, 58% um, British, Scottish, Irish, and Northwestern European. And then everything else was uh, basically West Coast of Africa and um, Sub Saharan Africa. Yeah, we have a, a band here as well in the bougie, one of the bougie neighborhoods um, here in Dallas. And they're a Highlander band as well. Uh, they play pipes and different things like that. Um, Laura. You know, it's it's probably, you probably did anxiety. Yeah, there's a lot. Um, well, you know, Ginger, a lot of times um, what happened, like with the McCartneys, 
is we were Scottish and then they had like the Highland clearances. And so a bunch of the Scots moved into Northern Ireland and they call them the Ulster Scots or the Scots Irish. And then they moved over to the Carolinas. So you might check that and see if you can trace back. Exactly. Anxiety Campbell's and Donald's you don't put in the same room. <laughs> Mrs. Coffee. Get him a kilt. Every man looks good in a kilt. Clan Campbell. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Ma Rebecca, I knew your clan McClelland. Um, I can tell just by your last name, it's Clan McClelland. It can be, Megan, to trace it. Uh, you just have to kind of keep at it. And like I said, if you can't trace it, um, try doing the DNA and see if that helps you. Because a lot of what it'll do, like if you do the Ancestry one, and I think it's some of the other ones, it'll connect you to other people. And they may have more information than you do. Hey, Redneck Beauty, how you doing, girl? There you go, Ginger. Yep. Let somebody else do the work, right? Um, I don't know Riley right off the top of my head, Shanda. But um, I can look for you next weekend and see if I can find out. I may be able to do that. <laughs> if you wait for them to go on sale, Elizabeth, they are not too much money. Um, kiddo's mama, my best friend since high school, almost 20 years now. She got me mine for Christmas because she knows I've been wanting one. Uh, Gallagher and Kincaid are probably more Irish names, Eskies. So he may have been more Irish than Scottish. I'm not guaranteeing that, but those do sound a bit more Irish. Right, Rachel? Me too. Well, you know, and the thing is, is like I'm I'm mixed. So I have a black parent and a white parent. And so I always have come across the way I speak, the way I present myself. You know, I was too black for the white kids and too white for the black kids, basically, back then. And so I don't know any of the black side of my family and things like that. So I was like, you know, I always joked that I'm going to get my DNA done. I'm going to be more black than I am white. And then I'm not going to know what to do with myself. Well. I did get my DNA done, and it turns out I am more white than I am black. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Elizabeth. Um, I don't know about semen, soulful brush. You're out of diamonds. Where's your tray? There's tray right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just restocking as you hand me empty trays. Um, Swede, German, Greek, Latvian, and a few other things. Nice, Abra. Yeah, see, and that's just, that was the other thing that we found, Corey, is... Um, uh, my lines trace back into like early North Carolina settlers, even early North Carolina African Americans. So both sides of my family have been here pre America, basically. Hi, Kelly Smithhurst, Janice, welcome. According to the government, Minna is. White and the other two are black, so I'm yeah. Well, you know, and that was the thing, Mrs. Coffee, is when I grew up, there weren't a whole lot of mixed kids like there are now. And um it was one of those things where it was like I put black when I was asked because I figure, you know, if somebody walks into a room and I put white, they're gonna be looking for a little blonde haired, blue eyed white girl. And I definitely wasn't that. <laughs> now I think you get a little more leeway. 
you know, you don't get the looks and things like that so much as you used to. Yonker Farian, really? <laughs> really, Laura? <laughs> Hey, Janice. So, yeah, Janice McMaster is probably an Ulster Scott. What clan are the Dirty Rotten Scoundrels? Um, you're, you probably want the Border Reaver clans, Shanda. <laughs> Uh-oh, Mindy. Oh, that's cool, Janice. Uh, Mayu, Tammy Hyler. Hi, Tammy Hyler. How are you doing, girl? Um, I would say that's probably French, just from the way that it's spelled. Yeah, Yonkafarian. Uh huh. You just made that up. Totally made it up, but that's okay. That's what we do here. <laughs> Right, exactly, Megan. Yeah. So, you know, it was one of those things where now it's becoming more common. Uh, mods, can you take care of that, please? Uh, now it's becoming more common. It is, um, you know, not as out of place. I always felt out of place when I was younger. Thank you, Becca. You know, and here's the thing, y'all, is like I was hoping for something real cool to show up. Like maybe I was a little Spanish or maybe I was a little, you know, Italian or something. Nope. Mm -mm. Nothing exciting. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, Mindy. Do what you need to do. I understand because y'all, the last time we did the DPA-thon and I was traveling, um, I only get five gigs of data on my plane because 99% of the time I'm on Wi-Fi. And so, like, they have the rollover data. And so I had eight gigs. I went through eight gigs of data in two days watching the DPA-thon last time. <laughs> right, Jackie? But y'all make some good food. You know, and it does, Mrs. Coffee. It's it's something to relate to. It's something interesting. I mean, you know, I was hoping for a little like maybe I'd be like 2% Jew or something like that. But <laughs> it was pretty much it followed almost exactly what we found in the um ancestry uh the uh you know what i'm trying to say the genealogy it was pretty much spot on so that made me that let me know my genealogy was spot on hey mindy mindy all right miss annie i'll see you tomorrow i'm looking forward to your live Is that supposed to be Choctaw Soulful Brush? Or is this a Indian tribe that I've not heard of? Yeah, here we go with these colors again, Mrs. Coffee. All right, let's see here. <laughs> We're going to go with a blue shade this time, Mrs. Coffee. It's a blue shade. Um, it is not 823. So we're going to go with this shade. Right here.
And for those that are new that haven't been in here the whole chat, we're doing this. Um, and if anybody guesses the exact shade, the DMC color, I will buy you a cover minder from Donnie's shop. Somebody was close. It is over 500. So it's over the number 500. Uh, it's very similar to Duke Blue. Yes, Elizabeth. <laughs> no, Lynn, it won't count if you say I'm pretty blue. <laughs> They're all pretty blues. Somebody else was very close. Shawana. Shawana's Creative Circle got it. That is number 517517. So Shawana's Creative Circle, if you will message me on youtube with your email uh, with your home address i will get you out a needle minder yes ma'am use a sharpie okay I just want to write these down, guys, so I don't forget. Mrs. Coffee. <laughs> you can't today. I know. I'm so sorry. No problem, Tracy. We'll see you next time. Have a good evening. Uh, let's see. It was Cindy B. And Shawana. And someone remind me who the second winner was, please. No problem, Tracy. I'm having a blast. I hope to do it more often. But that was no promises, guys. That doesn't mean I'm going to be doing it more often. It just means I would like to. Thank you, Jill. Yes. Well, considering I think I've placed one drill, I am doing worse than dearly. And I didn't think that was possible. I love my dearly crafted, but y'all, girl can't place a drill. I know. I know, Mrs. Coffee. I'm going to get you. Don't worry about it. I will take care of you. I know, like I, you can tell her that she has officially beaten my record because I have placed one, uno, one. I should place another one so she don't feel bad. Let's see here. Can't give her that big of a gap. Oops. Why you place you I placed it and pushed all of them out of place. That's awesome. There's two. Place one an hour. Oh, okay, Ginger. Yeah, I can go down the whole rabbit hole, get on my soapbox, do the whole genealogy thing. Um, most of my lines we've traced back into like the 14s and 1500s. I was super surprised. 
Um, now, don't get it wrong. On the um, African American side of the family, I can't get past my grandmother. So, but on the white side, we apparently got somewhere and we stayed there. So that helps a lot. Bug, can you get me a doctor, please? Thank you. Man. Um, let's see here. Uh, Amber, can I tell them about our little project, even though we don't have all the details worked out yet? Welcome back, Wolfpack. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Okay, so I uh, have been talking with Amber. So some of you will know that on my channel, I've started teaching some of our friends how to crochet. Hey, Dutch Doc, how you doing? So I've been teaching some of the, the ladies and gents how to learn to crochet, and I'm going to keep doing that. And the idea behind that, the goal of it is by about late July, early August, we want to start making a blanket for the winter. And I know that a lot of you guys uh, prefer to um, knit. I'm not a knitter. I know how, but I don't enjoy it. And so, okay, no problem, Mindy. Have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. Um, so some of you prefer to knit. So we were talking in a chat and, um, Eskies, uh, said that she knows how to knit and that she would agree to teach some of you guys how to start knitting. And I thought it would be really fun to do a, basically a stitch along is what I'm going to call it because it'll be either crochet or knitting, whatever your choice is. And we will all make a blanket together. So the knitters will do with the knitted version and the crocheters will do the crochet version. We're going to do it in the same color family so that we're all using the same colors. And then at the end of it, we will have a DP blanket from our stitch along. So if you guys like that idea, let me know. If you're not interested, that is perfectly okay. But I was super excited that um, Amber has decided to join me in this. And I'm hoping that some of you guys will get excited. I know some of you already know how to do those things. So you'll probably won't join us until then. And that's perfectly okay. Are you lurking, Abra? Um, are you writing things down? <laughs> so it'll be the two of us. Um, I'm going to try probably to pull some more people in as well. I thought it would be really fun. I've got a couple ideas bouncing around in my head. Uh, but then we could all have one that's very similar let you choose your colors or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Sure, Rebecca, no problem. Yeah, I understand, Becky. I actually learned my great-grandmother and my great-aunt both crocheted. And when they were around, they... Um, I wasn't really interested in learning. I was too young to really be interested in learning. But one of the things they did is when we graduated high school is we all got a crocheted blanket. And so now it's getting to where my nieces and nephews and um, my younger cousins are graduating high school. And so I wanted to continue that tradition because both my great aunt and my great grandmother have passed away now. And so I decided that was going to be a tradition that I wanted to continue. And I learned to crochet from Facebook or from Facebook, from uh, YouTube, actually. So I wanted to kind of return some of that to people. There were a lot of things that I wish somebody would kind of have broken down a little bit more. It was hard to find somebody that I liked their teaching style. So, you know, we're going to be doing easy stitches. I'm going to teach you the basics. We're going to do a couple of really simple patterns. And the blanket that I'm going to choose is going to be a beginner friendly blanket. So, oh, see, Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's got it going on. She got her a taco salad for Cinco de Mayo, even though today is May 4th. And yes, there is Star Wars playing on the TV in the living room. 
<laughs> um, let's see here. I missed a lot of comments. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're really excited about it. We're still working out some of the details, but we've got time. Um, <laughs> yeah, we do need to help them. Um, I finished. I've been crocheting for about five years or so, and I finished about 10 blankets. So, and I've only got one of those. All the rest of them are gifts. So I actually did a crocheted uh, tartan blanket of the McCartney tartan. That one was, uh, we're not doing that. Just so y'all know, that is not an option. It's really cool looking, but my God. Um, so full crochets, knits, embroiders, and cross stitches. Corey, they're going to be easy stitches for you. Yeah, and this summer as well, guys, is um, I've got a friend that comes over, a friend's mom. She lives in South Africa. Uh, she's comes over for about four months in the summer. Let me move my Dr. Pepper. Sorry. And I'm actually going to have her help me do a blanket uh, that is sewn. So those will, those videos will be out then as well. May the 4th be with you. Exactly. Uh, Redneck, I'm probably already going to start drinking. Like probably in about 45 minutes, I'm probably going to start drinking. <laughs> Um, you know, and Jill, with it always, if, if you tried to crochet and you don't like the way that it looks, the great thing about yarn is you can frog it, you can pull it out and you can start over. And it really is. I've said this in my videos multiple times. It's a, it's a muscle memory thing. Once you get it, it does take a lot of practice, but once you get it, you'll have it down. And like, I can literally sit and watch a movie and crochet now. I'm sure Mrs. Coffee, when she's not testing patterns, can do the same thing. If she's just doing a stitch that she knows really well, you can almost do it just by feel. Right, Eskies, yeah, we're going to make it as simple as possible. Um, probably Mrs. Coffee. I don't know that I've ever attempted the waistcoat stitch. Waist, oh, hell. <laughs> What you put in my drink, Zoe? <laughs> <laughs> the waistcoat stitch. That's hard to say. Yeah, just not too happy, please, Redneck. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mrs. Coffee. I did see that one. Um, I was originally playing around with the idea of doing the, uh, doing corner to corner for crochet. But I don't know if there is a similar knit stitch. Yeah, knit stitch. I've done the knit stitch. I don't know if there's a similar stitch in knitting that'll give you that diagonal look. There probably is. So if any of you longtime crocheters or longtime knitters um, have any ideas, things that you might like to see that are super beginner friendly, remember we got to keep it beginner friendly. Um, let me know. You can let me or Amber know. Amber is diamond painting with Eskies and we'll be happy to take that under advisement. And, you know, we may put out some polls and different things like that. So switching gears a little bit. It is, I've got about 30 minutes or so left. If we can have chat go silent for just a second, all of my creator friends, if you have a channel that you regularly post content, please put in your emojis. Uh, no, Rachel, Tunisian is something that's a little bit different. It's done with a different technique. Uh, so Tunisian is a little bit different than um, crochet. It's kind of its like own category of crochet. Welcome back, Peppers. Put your emojis in, please. Sweet, Mrs. Coffee. We would love that. Well, Janice, all you got to do is, is go over to my channel and I tell you what supplies to go get and everything like that. And you can join us. 
I'm teaching quite a few of our friends how to how to crochet, or at least I'm attempting to. Hey, Queenie, how you doing? Thank you for stopping by. Queenie, put your emojis in. We're doing the emojis right now. Yeah, Angie, just, just let us know and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Crochet three stitch. Do you mean the granny stitch, Soulful Brush? The three stitch, the granny stitch? All right, we've got Crafting with Christy. We've got Shanda Panda. Is it Creatively? Shanda, is that how you're supposed to say that? That's how I say it in my head. Uh, Becky's Madness for Diamond Painting. We've got Dutch Doc. Dutch Doc has excellent whipping chats, y'all. I love watching her whipping chats. She just she brings up a lot of really good points. She's doing this like book series now. And sometimes it goes over my head, but most of the time I really get it. But I'm enjoying it nonetheless. So keep doing that. Uh, we got Sherry's Creative Niche. That's one of my buddies. Sherry just had a birthday. So if y'all miss Sherry's birthday on the 2nd, make sure to wish her a happy belated. We've got Ginger Ginger Diamond Painter and Rebecca McClelland. We got my friend Heike at Stone Cold Coffee Crafts. Heike, Heike, I'm going to need to take Lola and like bring her to my house so I can love her and all of her fluff. I love your cat. Like I want her so much. I don't even care if she's a diva. Like I need her in my life. We've got Wolfpack Diamond Painting, her cat, Eli. Don't forget about Eli. Uh, the Frozen Crafter, Miss Megan. We got Mrs. Coffee. Uh, we got Peppers. We got Rachel Ray. Uh, Redneck Beauty or Redneck Booty. Uh, Diamond Painting with Anxiety. We've got Shawana's Creative Circle. We've got the Coriolis Diamond Painting Effect. And we've got Diamond Painting with Eskies. And we've got our diamond painting queen. There's Shawana's creative circle. What do you mean, Angie? Yeah, Crystal, you guys, um, when we're done here or, you know, when you have a second, just um, if you hit that subscribe button, you'll get notifications. Every Tuesday, I put up a video. So the first video was on what hooks to get or like what types of hooks are available and what types of yarn. And then the second video that I put up this last Tuesday was over the. Um, I don't think you're going to need more of this color. Uh, this, the video I put up Tuesday was over a slip stitch and a single crochet. And next Tuesday, we're going to learn how to half double crochet and double crochet. So we're just learning one stitch at a time. And we'll go from there. So we're going to go nice and slow and build you up so that you can get it down. Cool, Shanda. Um, oh, thank you, Queenie. Hey, Sharon. Bye, Janice. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Yeah, Angie, like I said, just, just check it out. And then um, if you want to know about the knitting, then Eskies can let you know about that. Yes, Wolfpack is coming up in 20 minutes. Thank you, Rebecca, for dropping that link in. Hey, Julie Hammer, how are you doing? Hey, Michelle Brunt, no problem. There's no late. We all arrive when we mean to arrive. No big deal. We're going to go over to Wolfpack, our Wolfpack Mamas uh, channel, just in just a few minutes here. And we're going to hang out with her and Eli and see how he's doing. I'm sure he's being extra. Either way, Eli will let us know about it. Yeah, absolutely, Angie. Just check out my channel. I'm doing the crochet part. And um, you'll be able to just follow along each week. I give you something to work on. I tell you what exactly what supplies to get and all, all that kind of stuff. So I would be more than happy to have you. And hopefully I can 
teach you how to do some things. So do you guys have any questions for me before we start wrapping up? Uh, thank you, Angie. Oh, he's been sleeping. That He's waiting on your live. That is what he's waiting on, Wolfpack. You know that. Oh, that's very cool, Sharon. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you decided to join us. Um, how big is that Jesus painting? Did I create a group for this? I have not yet, but that is a possibility. I'll think on that. Thank you, Mrs. Coffee. Uh, Chrissy sighs. <laughs> what are the winning lottery numbers? Uh, 17, 24, 57, 36, 12. Exactly. Exactly, Heike. They just wait for you to like not be quiet when you're not sitting in your chair anymore. You got stuff out that they can play with. That's when they strike. Oh, thank you so much, Barbie. I know that you get to see us every now and then, but I don't see you very often. Just working and lurking. Oh, thank you, Peppers. Uh, quote me on what, Megan? <laughs> If you win the lottery on those numbers, you have to give me a DAC fund. That's how that works. Like I require a commission for DAC money and I'm going to need like an allowance every month for DAC. How does that sound? Okay, Mrs. Coffee. Yeah, I'll work on that. I'll talk with uh, Amber about it and we'll see what we can do. Thank you for the idea and uh, directing me in the correct way. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem, Diamond Painting with Susan. Welcome aboard. We're getting ready to switch over here in just a few minutes. We've just got some last minute questions. Anything you are just mind boggling wanting to know? Yeah, exactly, Eskies. Lay on the glue. Oh my, Jill. I really hope none of the cats have laid on the glue. Especially not Diamond Art Club glue. They would never get up. It'd be like a fly on a fly trap. Oh, the lot, yeah, Frozen Crafter. Like I said, if you win, you got to give me a DAC allowance every month. A generous DAC allowance. <laughs> Thanks, Ginger. <laughs> there is absolutely one more color to do. Gotcha, Barbie. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Amber. All right, let's see. We did a green. We did an orange. We did a blue. All right, I'll let you choose. Do you want to do a pink or a purple? Oh, no, Heike. Oh, and she's long-haired, too. Oh, oh, honey. <laughs> I got like two each. There's three for purple. Four for purple. Okay, it is not 550. <laughs> Mrs. Coffee. Mrs. Coffee, I promise that I will send you something next week. That doesn't have anything to do with colors, okay? I promise. All right. It is purple. It is a light purple. Y'all can't even see it. Sorry. It is under 500. The number is under 500.
Uh, Becky's Madness for Diamond Painting, 209. I think you're, yeah, I'm showing that she's the one that got it first. It's 209, Becky's Madness for Diamond Painting. So, Becky, send me your information on the YouTube Messenger, and I will get you your prize next week. I'm going to put the Sharpies away again. Um, you know, Jill, I'll see if I can find you as well. Congratulations to my winners. Thank you, everybody, for playing along. I'm sorry, Mrs. Coffee. I will think it through better next time. I'm going to send you something anyway. I know. I know. You should send me a salty message. I deserve it. I was trying to think of something last minute. I'm sorry. It's been a hell of a week. And this is what I had. <laughs> I'll think it through better. I'll do better. That's all you can ask of me. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know the DMC colors. Like, the only reason I know those is because it's written on there. <laughs> I don't know DMC colors. Like, I couldn't have done... Uh, Soulful, I'll check that out when we're done. I can't click on it right now. Um, I'm filming with the computer and I've got my phone with the chat going. Um, so I'll check it out afterwards. <laughs> yeah, Jill, I'll, I'll get you. Thank you guys so much for coming. I'm going to let you go just a few minutes early. Um, coming up next is Wolfpack. Wolfpack, are you ready for them? Or do you need me to hold them for just a little longer? You guys have made this so much fun. I appreciate everyone coming here. I appreciate all of the new subs, all of you guys that have been with me since the beginning, the new ones coming in. I'm having a load of fun. I'm learning something every day. I'm meeting new people and I absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for coming. I hope that you enjoy the DPathon for the rest of the weekend. We have had some amazing, amazing hosts already. We've got so many more coming up. So I hope you guys stick with us. <laughs> no, I did not pick 550 because I knew you would know it like in two seconds. That's why I didn't pick 666 either. Um, so you guys, thank you so much for coming and, um, make sure you hit up, go check out Lizzie Bates, check out Rebecca McClellan, check out Peppers, check out Diamond Painting with Anxiety, check out Corey at the Coriolis Effect. Those are some newer guys. They could use a little love to get them over a hundred. And, um, you know, thank you to everybody else. If you want to do the diamond painting tag, that's on my channel. Um, a lot of people helped me come up with those questions. It wasn't just me. I just happened to be the one that wrote them down. I would love to see you guys' answer. I know Rachel did it. I loved Rachel's. I love foreign service crafters did it this last week. I saw her do that and I absolutely loved it. I would love to see all of you do it. <laughs> this is coffee. You're killing me. Um, so you guys do that for sure. Uh, check that out. And um, until I see you next time, remember, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to do things. Uh, uh, Jackie uh, Wolfpack is next. Can somebody drop that link for me again, please? Thank you, Rebecca. Hey, mods, Rebecca, Amber, great job today. Thank you so much. Oh, Jeremy, it's okay. I'm going to catch you later. We're all jumping over to Wolfpack right now. We're going to let everybody take a little break, a potty break, get you a drink, go get your margarita machine going, get your blender rolling. It's getting about that time for most of us. I've got my Dr. Pepper I'm going to finish. 
and uh, we're all going to jump over to Wolfpack and uh, visit. Oh, wow, Jeremy. I'm glad you got your tractor back up and working or your mower. Wow. Still no rum. Yeah, there's no rum in it, Elizabeth, but I might have to work on that. <laughs> I think there's a liquor store not too far. You're very welcome, guys. I had so much fun doing this. I'm so glad that I got to participate this time around. Jeremy, eight acres. That is insane. Did you wear sunscreen? Look at you. Oh, guys. So those of you that were here, Zoe's been working the whole stream. This is how much she got done. She got basically the entire dress done. I think we've got a new convert. Did you enjoy it, kiddo? Yeah. Yeah? Something you'd want to do on your own? Sure. Yeah? So she did a good job. Yeah, and a hat. Ooh, you know what, Redneck? That is some good stuff. I don't know if I can handle it today, though. Amber says, nice, Zoe. A long sleeve shirt and pants. That works, too. Rebecca says, yay. Wolfpack says, yay. Crafting with Christy says, good job. Hey, Nan, how are you doing? We're getting ready to jump over to Wolfpack's live. Oh, some moonshine. Is it uh, apple pie or peach? Those are my two favorite moonshines. I don't like just regular moonshine. I like the flavored kinds. Colette says, fantastic job, Zoe. She did get a lot done, especially this is her very first time ever sitting and doing it. She got quite a bit done. So I think she's earned that um, minion, the minion diamond painting. Would you rather have a minion or would you rather have something else? You don't even know what's available, do you? No? What do you love more than minions? Stitch. Stitch. There's a really cool stained glass stitch. We'll find you a stitch. We're going to get her a stitch diamond painting for the great job that she did. Oh, apple pie and lemonade. Oh, dang, Elizabeth. Hey, no problem, Lynn. Thank you so much for coming. You always leave me really great comments. I do appreciate them. I do read every comment that you guys leave on my videos. I try to reply back to every single person. It doesn't always work, but I do try. So I want you to know that I read those. I take everything that you're saying under advisement, and I do appreciate it. Right, Becky? Oh, Julie says, awesome, Zoe. Eskies, you haven't done any diamond painting? Girl, you got that big old picture to work on. Awesome, Jeremy. I'm so sorry that I could not stay longer. I was like laying in the bed. My eyelids were real heavy, but I wanted to make sure to stop by and say hi. I haven't had a chance to wash it back, but I will watch it back. Star or on Amazon. Yeah, I think that that's right, Heike. Thank you. I knew I had seen it on there the other day, but I was looking at Star or and at... Um, Oh, what's the other one? Everybody's been ordered. Cotart. So I was looking at a couple of different ones and I couldn't remember who it was, but I knew I had seen it. The beard. Oh, Lynn, did you post a picture of that on uh, Facebook? Oh, I got you, Amber. And it's not even that little, it's not even close to that kid's bedtime yet. <laughs> That's all right. Maybe you'll get some for, get some done tonight. That's okay, Jill. I do it sometimes too. I even forget sometimes just to hit the thumbs up. I try to hit that on the way in 
so that when I'm leaving, I don't forget and I make sure to do that. But I do try to at least comment on at least one thing in the video that helps the creators know what people are enjoying seeing, what they're not enjoying seeing. Um, it gives us that interaction that sometimes we don't get if we're not doing lives and things like that. We don't always get that interaction that we need. So, you know, maybe make that your goal for the next week or so is to leave a comment about something in the video on every video you watch. Oh, cool, Stephanie. I'll let her know. We'll look at it when we get off here uh, before we head over to yours. And um, I'll let her pick one out since she did such a good job today. Uh oh, Jackie. Five. Um. You got five kids in your house right now, Amber. That is unacceptable. Like I know you love them and all, but mm -mm, I don't I know. <laughs> mm -mm. Right. Oh, thank you so much, Jeremy. You guys have been so awesome. I've enjoyed it so much. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you again for coming. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. I had a great time. Zoe, I think, had a great time. Yeah. I think we have another diamond painting convert. So if you guys will run over to uh, Wolfpack's live, I'm sure Eli is ready to make our acquaintance. And um, I will catch you guys there in about 10 minutes or so. Love you guys. Bye.